Hey, One Tree Hill fans. Thanks for being here. As always, I just got done listening to the podcast for season three, episode two, From the Edge of the Deep Green Sea. Another awesome podcast, always entertaining. And I'm just going to say, I totally support the idea of a drunk One Tree Hill history. I'm here for it. I sign off on it. Let's do it. <laughs> Um, this podcast, uh, just reminded me how much is going on in this episode and I just want to hurry up and get into it. So let's get into it. There's Dan again, just kind of showing up everywhere. Well, well, look who's starting a fire to Lucas. <laughs> again, broke with these lines, sleeping bitchy. I get Dave girl. Fine. Oh, Brooke's list. So great. <laughs> But seriously, the fact that she put Dan on the list is just like, ew, what? Oh my god, Nathan's all like, let's play the game, and if you win, we can be friends again. And for like a moment, you see Lucas like, no, because like, he shouldn't be playing because he doesn't have his heart pills. And of course he loses, and Nathan walks away because Nathan is really good at being angry. Brooke has like this really harsh way of dealing with Haley <laughs> that is also nice at the same time. It's really interesting how she does that. And I totally forgot about the makeover in the apartment. Looks fabulous. Of course, Peyton did it. Oh my God. Peyton's like flyer for the party. <laughs> Looks like a Halloween party, not a beach party. Wow. That whole talk with Peyton's dad, he like, that thing, I think, like, the, the most parenting we see from him. But I do find it funny because, like, before he was never home. And now he's just home working on the lawnmower, like, a normal situation. But it's, like, I think it's funny. It's, like, you will not stop around this house. It's, like, dude, you haven't even been in this house for, like, a while. <laughs> I just think it's funny. <laughs> but he really, it is a good talk that they have and he does make a very good point we don't have the answers and that is something that you learn as you get older it is so true nobody has all the answers oh my god that moment of lucas and Haley talking was really cute until he told her about nathan being home and she didn't know and so sad and in this episode brooke really is the embodiment of all the sex in the city gals <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. That whole thing with uh, Dan and Haley. Well, well, if it isn't my beloved daughter-in-law. So nice of you to come check up on me. I found a pair of your black gloves. I don't have black gloves. <laughs> oh my god. Eh, yeah, it sucks. My marriage is over. <laughs> Funny how you and I have so much in common. Oh my god. He's such a prick, but that was so funny. Okay, wait a minute. Peyton's dad tells her, well, I guess it's up to you if you want to get to know Ellie. And then he goes and finds Ellie and is like, stay away from us. You gave her up. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. Karen. Woo. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> okay, so I thought that the whole reason Karen and Andy couldn't be together is because Dan might be deporting him. He may never be able to come back. Now she's saying, oh, he wants a family, so that's new information. And then she starts talking about Keith, which I agree with the podcast. That kind of came out of left field because I thought when she was with Andy, it was kind of like she understood. Like, the whole thing with her and Keith wouldn't have worked. They were fine the way, you know, friends, whatever. Oh, I hate seeing Neely be so distant from one another. But, again, Nathan can play the ass, you know, the really cold-hearted kind of asshole really well. He does get that from his dad. <laughs> He's just not as childish about it. Funny, huh? Lucas sees Ellie getting drugs. I swear, why is Lucas always the one that's seeing everybody do nefarious things? Oh my god. <laughs> Tim. Oh look, it's Tim. I had a dream you died. Darn. <laughs> Brooke in her line. Oh, when Tim thinks he sees co the, the guys showing up. But of course with Brooke, the lifeguard cops. Cops! He knocks everybody's drinks out of their hands. <laughs> Such a Tim. Oh my god. Peyton should never be the DJ. I mean, the song she was playing. <laughs> so 
depressing. Bravo to that whole scene between Karen and Dan. Karen, I mean, he was just so freakish, like, oh, yeah, the kiss was a reckless, reckless mistake, kind of like Lucas. And then she's just like, you know what? I'm refusing service. Get out. And whoever did kill you, I'm sorry that they failed. <laughs> That's so good. The whole scene was great. Naked Tim and the guitar. I completely blocked that out. I'm glad Lucas at least told Peyton like right away about Ellie. Uh, because usually he kind of sits on those secrets for a while. So this was probably the quicker of the times that he's like told somebody what's up in the same episode. Brooke wants Lucas to go skinny dipping. He sees Haley hurting and he says, give me, can I be that guy in 20 minutes? That is progress for a teenage boy to say no to skinny dipping with the girl he's trying to get with to go help his friend. So probably not realistic, but I like to think that it might be. Oh my God, I love everything about what Lucas said to Nathan on that basketball court. It was finally so real, raw, like yelled at him, called him a jackass. You're not going to hurt Haley. You want to be a coward? Fine. Because seriously, Nathan is giving me very strong Dan vibes right now and I'm not digging it. I know he's mad. I get it. I understand. But thank you, Lucas. Bravo. Or Lucas, he missed out on going skinny dipping with Brooke. But you know what? It was for a good cause. You helped Haley indirectly by yelling at Nathan. I like it. Oh my god. Tim is trying to get Haley to sing her song. And Nathan just comes by, grabs Tim's uh, guitar, and just throws it on the fire and walks off. <laughs> you know, I never fully understood why Peyton was so pissed with Haley, but I guess, I mean, I do get it now. Like, I do, but it just, I it just, I think it just hurts my heart when I see her hating Haley so much. And then she switches it to her song. Oh my God. Right as Nathan walks up and Peyton walks away. I'm just like, oh my God. Oh my God. The whole moment with Haley and Nathan, it was just so painful because, I mean, I felt all that. I felt the emotion. It's just, Ugh, it always hurts to see Neely have a fracture. Oh my god, Lucas like played Mr. Cool Hand Luke over there. Like, I'm the guy for you, Brooke, and in front of all the guys. You guys take it easy. <laughs> Bye. I kind of love that Peyton was like, oh, here, Ellie, here's my cocaine vial. I thought you might want it since you were buying drugs today. And there's Dan again, popping up everywhere. And then he sees the fire and Lucas, and he thinks Lucas is the one that set him on fire. <laughs> oh, Dan. <laughs> That's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe, like, and comment below with any ideas, you thoughts and opinions you had on this episode. And I will see y'all next week.